in the trauma realm, we hear things like freeze, flight fight. We hear about fawn. We hear about all these things that usually start with an F. And, but they're just these words that kind of float out there and don't really have a foundation in anything besides like maybe behavioral sets or how we loosely respond to what we call trauma. But it's all these sort of loose floating concepts. And political theory um, takes these concepts and gives them a biological foundation in the autonomic nervous system. And rather than it being, well, this is how I responded to whatever, now it's my nervous, my autonomic nervous system in particular responded this way. And it's not because I'm defective. It's not because I was born broken or something like that. It's uh, because I'm a mammal and mammals tend to respond in this sequence of events or autonomic shifts in more or less predictive ways. Um, so it, it's a lot more normalizing, I think, rather than it being, well, this is how I responded and I don't know why. And it's just this sort of response. It's, well, here's your nervous system. Here's the autonomic ladder or the polyvagal ladder. And here's the sequence of events you went through. Uh, so it's, it's a lot more normalizing, I would say. And it's grounded in biology versus just behavioral concepts or psychological constructs. I, I think that what people commonly don't know is that it's not simply, it's not a choice that people make to go into these different uh, physiological state shifts. It's not a choice. No one is consciously choosing to do these things. And it's a, it's an issue of the autonomic nervous system. This is stuff that is, it's like, uh, it's brainstem stuff. It's hardwired into our DNA to respond to certain cues in certain ways. So that, that's the basic idea of political theory is it's really more about uh, it's the science of connection. It's the science of how human beings or mammals in general connect, but also how we respond to danger. And there are ways that, you know, like that we are more predictably going to respond to danger. Like if my eyes go wide and I have a flat affect, you know, pro you might feel like this pull of like being pulled back. Your nervous system, you don't choose to like pull back and say like, whoa, Justin's acting kind of funny right now. You don't, that's not a choice. It's your, your nervous system detects me acting in, in a, different way and then it pulls back so this is all autonomic none of this is chosen and the political theory lays out that these aren't behavioral choices or psychological constructs that this is anatomy and we have these different autonomic states three primary ones and three mixed states that every single one of us shares every single one of us feels throughout the day off and on